uh, you know, we, we, we do want uh, Optimus to be safe, so we are uh, designing in um, safeguards where you can uh, locally stop the robot. Elon Musk recently made some shocking revelations about Optimus, mentioning that the robot will handle tasks in the factory and is expected to be ready for commercial use as early as 2025. Besides, some concerns that people who are looking forward to using it as a tool to support their lives are safety, fears of a dire future in science fiction movies about robots and artificial intelligence. Are they safe or not? How will Tesla completely secure the Tesla bot? How the new feature promised safety when using Tesla bot? Optimus was initially created by Elon Musk to ensure that the robotics industry and the world of AI would be safe, non-harmful, and non-destructive as this technology emerged. Many robot companies have introduced their technology, and the increasing number of startups raises a significant question and fear among many people. Most of us still have concerns that the development of the Tesla bot might lead to a new generation of iRobot movies. Perhaps Elon Musk's goal in creating the Tesla bot was to prevent the disasters that humans might create. At present, the strength and agility of robots have not reached the levels seen in science fiction movies. However, at some point in the future, when Optimus is upgraded to the 10th or 11th generation, we are certain that the capabilities of robots will become more concerning. Nonetheless, safety considerations have long been a priority for Elon Musk. With enhanced anti-hacking features in the next generation humanoid robots, to support this claim, let's revisit a competition held at the Siskin Computer Security Conference in China in 2014, which offered a $10,000 reward for anyone who could hack a Tesla Model S. All that was achieved was gaining control over the opening and closing of the doors. Additionally, Tesla continuously recruits for its cybersecurity team to identify vulnerabilities and patch them regularly through remote updates. Our concern is not just about the robots themselves, but about AI, a growing risk as the robotics industry shifts its focus from hardware to software and integrates AI applications. These attacks exploit vulnerabilities in the operating system or supporting software of robots, including the robot operating system. Despite its name, ROS is not a traditional operating system but rather an open source framework or middleware that provides a set of tools, libraries, and conventions designed to simplify the creation of complex and powerful robot behaviors across various robotic platforms. Common threats include the public accessibility of ROS nodes, weak authentication and authorization mechanisms, and vulnerable communication protocols. The open source nature of ROS also makes it susceptible to the same vulnerabilities that commonly affect open source software in general. However, Tesla does not currently use ROS. Instead, they are opting for hardware and software developed for their self-driving vehicle. This approach is somewhat similar to the development process of iOS, the renowned operating system created by Steve Jobs at Apple. Although it initially faced skepticism from the public, in the end, well, you probably already know what the outcome was. Furthermore, Elon Musk has long considered a remote shutdown button, essentially allowing users to immediately power off the robot via devices such as their phones if Tesla detects a security breach or malfunction during use. Safety is maximized as Tesla has developed technical work related to neural networks and the Dojo supercomputer, tasks that Optimus learns through a tightly controlled supercomputer environment overseen by the team. This rigorous approach ensures that Optimus learning algorithms are continually refined and tested in real time, with constant updates and improvements based on the latest data. Additionally, Tesla's robust cybersecurity measures, including regular software audits and vulnerability assessments, contribute to a secure operational environment. By integrating these advanced safety protocols, Tesla aims to mitigate potential risks and enhance the reliability of Optimus in various applications, from industrial settings to consumer environments. Before diving deeper into the advancements that Tesla Bot has achieved, 
Make sure to like the video and join us for daily episodes by subscribing to Techno Creator channel. We always appreciate your support. What role does the dojo play with the Optimus? Tesla's vision-based approach is the main reason Tesla needs a supercomputer. The neural networks behind FSD are trained on a vast amount of driving data to recognize and classify objects around the vehicle and then make driving decisions. In other words, Tesla aims to create a digital replica of the human visual cortex and brain function, which is applied to Tesla Bot to essentially enable the robot to learn from knowledge. To achieve this, Tesla needs to store and process all the video data collected from its vehicles around the world and run millions of simulations to train its model on this data. However, everything remains at the stage of inputting knowledge without surpassing human control and cognition. Dojo is a high-stakes gamble. It is built as a central brain-like component, similar to Skynet but with enhanced safety measures. The plan to upgrade Tesla Bot goes beyond just the design. Improvements in artificial intelligence are essential for Optimus to achieve a truly autonomous state in the literal sense. So what has Tesla outlined in their plan? In Tesla's first presentation on AI Day in 2021, Elon Musk announced that Optimus would be built on their full self-driving computer hardware. This surprised many of us as building different types of robots typically requires significantly different hardware and architecture. Elon Musk has revealed new details about Tesla's next-generation self-driving computer, which many anticipate will be named Hardware 5, or AI5, following over a year of using Hardware 4. This will be the most powerful hardware version yet, as AI5 is expected to consume approximately four times the energy of Hardware 3 and Hardware 4 it will require a much stronger effort than before. Uh, Optimus is already performing tasks in our factory, um, and uh, we expect to have Optimus production version one in, in limited production starting early next year. Uh, this will be for Tesla consumption. We can assume that Tesla will set a fairly ambitious timeline for the rollout of this product. Given that the RoboTaxi launch event is scheduled for the latter half of this year, the new AI5 might be used for fully autonomous self-driving vehicles without steering wheels, or for an affordable $25,000 vehicle. It could even be employed in the production of thousands of Optimus robots, with a projected increase of more than 20,000 AI5 units. Through this, Optimus is confident it can collect data up to 10 times faster than the previous version, thanks to accelerated data gathering on the new hardware. With high demands for healthcare and family care, performing tasks accurately is more crucial than ever to provide information and alerts about health based on a wealth of medical knowledge. Not only that, a language model that is said to rival OpenAI recently launched has already surpassed hundreds of other AI models. Grok AI, which will be integrated into Optimus, aims to enhance learning capabilities and communication as Tesla embraces updates to voice and language features. With a focus on affordability and exceptional quality, Tesla will take additional time to refine the Tesla bot to ensure its launch meets humanity's expectations during the waiting period. So what do you think about this? How safe is the new Tesla bot worth your money? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this, join Techno Creator by subscribing, and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.